Good morning. I'm not sure if it's going or not, but. Uh, good morning. Happy Monday. Today, the, the day that we're doing this live video is Monday, May 11th. So if you want to join me, we'll start with our superhero pose and we'll do a couple uh, kind of an introduction about what we're going to do today. All right, if you want to join me, you can put your feet wide apart, flat on the floor. I also like to put my fists on the hip, my hips, uh, and aim my heart to the sky so we can all be, good morning, Judy, so we can all be superheroes together to start our week off with a little bit of movement. We're gonna get our blood moving a little bit. We're gonna get our bodies moving a little bit. We'll use our voices a little bit. Uh, hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun. Uh, those are the things that I'm hoping that we can do. But while we're, do while we're all doing the superhero pose, we'll concentrate on taking nice deep breaths into our belly. Filling up our belly and then our lungs and then breathing out. We'll just do a couple deep breaths while we're everyone's joining us. Uh, if you are joining us from outside of Ohio, I would love to hear where who you are and where you're joining us from. Even if you're joining us from Columbus, I would love to hear what part of Columbus you're joining us from. Uh, just so you know, Shakira is working the Facebook comments for me since I'm so far away from the screen and the keyboard and can't really do the comments or read them or respond. Uh, Shakira is doing that on her end. Uh, and then we've got the speakerphone here so people who can't do Facebook Live with us are able to hear our audio. So that's kind of the plan for today. Um, whatever, whatever moves I'm sharing with you, uh, you find the version of that move that works best for you. So if you want to do all of this standing up, feel free to do all of it standing up. Uh, if you want to do it sitting down, you can join us sitting down as well. Hi, Ben and Cindy. Uh, every once in a while, I can see the, the couple Facebook comments, but once it gets to a certain point, it stops scrolling for me. So. Glad you guys can join us. Um, then we'll do the lion at the end. So, and uh, also, so everybody knows, um, I'm gonna wrap up a little bit early uh, at the end of the hour so that Gizmo can come in and show you some of his tricks. Because uh, it seems like a lot of people get a kick out of seeing Gizmo do some tricks. So, I. He loves doing them, and it's fun for me to do them, so hopefully you'll enjoy us too. Oh, and Jordana is here. Hi, Jordana. Our friends from Team Heart and Soul. Okay, um, so so back to if you uh, if I'm describing a move where you use your arms and your legs, if you can only use your arms, that's okay. If you can only use your legs, that's okay. If you can only use one, just find the version of that of the move that we're doing that fits for you. We want you to be safe uh, and comfortable. So if you're feeling any pain, don't do it. But in general, join along as much as you would like to join along with us. Um, yeah, we're 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 just gonna do some fun, playful movement, and hopefully you'll. I throw in some songs and some loud noises <laughs> as we go. All right, I think that's enough for the announcements for now. So we're going to go ahead and shake out our superhero arms. It's one way to get the blood moving a little bit. Uh, I also like to do, roll my head around a little bit, just do a little bit of a bobble head to wake myself up. Hopefully you guys are awake. If not, this I'm hoping this will help wake us up. We'll start off with a good morning stretch. We'll raise both our hands up to the sky. Stretch your feet down and out. Take a deep breath in. Make yourself or your neighbor yawn. Ah. <laughs> 
We're gonna roll our wrists in circles while our hands float down to our lap. Nice good morning stretch. This version of the good morning stretch, we're gonna interlace our fingers in front of our face. We're gonna turn our palms away from our face. And if you can't do this with your fingers, that's okay. Just do the same stretch we did with our hands up high because we're gonna raise our hands up over our head, stretch our feet down and out, take a deep breath in and make yourself go. Oh my goodness, just talking about it makes me yawn. Okay, let's pretend like our fingers are raindrops coming down. I know it was raining in Columbus this morning. I'm not sure. It looks like it might be sunny and rainy, a little bit of both today. Oh, okay. Hopefully that good morning stretch wakes us up a little bit. But how about we go for a boat ride? I know this will definitely wake us up because we'll sing a song and that'll wake up our voices as well. I like doing rowing the boat by starting with my feet wide apart flat on the floor and I'm already sitting on the front edge of my seat um, I find it a little bit easier to move when I'm uh, not way back in my seat like that so uh, if you want to move to the front edge of your seat with me we're going to reach out as far forward as we can to grab the oars our pretend oars. So when we lean back and bend our elbows back, we're rowing the boat, reaching out and pulling back. Okay, we're gonna sing our song. Take a deep breath in. One, two, three. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Again, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Wonderful. Hopefully that got your heart going a little bit, warmed up your voice a little bit. Okay, now we're in a the middle of a beautiful blue body of water. We can think of it as uh, the beach or the, the water around where Brian and Fido live. Did you need something? Oh, Lynn said what? Oh, awesome, okay. All right, good to everybody at home in Missouri, my mom, dad, and sister are all joining. So thanks for joining everybody. Okay, so we're in the middle of a beautiful body of water and we're gonna go for a swim now. So we're gonna put our hands up over our head. The beauty of pretending is we don't have to worry about whether you're a good swimmer or not. We're all gonna be safe and have fun. Okay. Hands up over our head, take a deep breath in. One, two, three, dive in. Okay, we're in the water, we're gonna do some freestyle. We're gonna make big circles with one arm at a time, then the other arm. One arm and the other arm, doing some freestyle. Getting big arm circles. I have to be careful when I'm doing my arm circles to not bump the armrest of my chair, but you want to make sure you're not bumping anybody next to you either if they're sitting with you joining you. Doing a little freestyle. Okay, we're going to freeze and reverse. Backstroke. Big circle backwards with one arm, big circle backwards with the other arm. And we'll just keep going a little backstroke. Backstroke, backstroke, there's Gizmo. He's getting ready to go for a walk with Ryan, so he's happy. One, a couple more backstroke, backstroke. Okay, now we're gonna, the pretend swimming we're gonna do is some breaststroke. We're gonna dive forward and circle back. Dive forward and circle back. Dive forward and circle back. Dive forward 
and circle back. One more time for the breaststroke. Dive forward and circle back. Wonderful. Okay. I heard from Lynn, my sister, that doing the butterfly swimming stroke is one that she really likes. She's good at it in the water, too. So this is one that we've been adding lately. We're going to, and the way you do the butterfly is you take both your hands and arms at the same time are going to go down towards the floor. They're going to go big, big circles behind your back. Your arms are going to come up over your head, and you're going to dive in. Arms down and back, big circle over your head, and dive in. That's the butterfly. Big circle behind, arms up and dive in. One more butterfly, hands behind, up and over, and dive in. That's the butterfly for Lynn. Okay, there's one, well, there, actually there's two more swimming strokes that we like to do. We're going to hold our palms together so that our hands look like a fish. And we're going to swim our hand, hands looking like a fish from side to side. This is going to allow us to stretch our waist a little bit and just get moving in our chair a little bit. We like to add fish lips to this too. So if you want, we think they kind of look like you're blowing kisses. Fish lips. Okay. Yes. Um, I have Andrea on the line, and she is asking what type of exercise can she do for her back because her back hurts. Okay, Andrea is asking about things for her back. Andrea, if you hang on, we'll get some do some more stuff with our back. Um, after we finish with our swimming, um, we'll do a hula hoop, and I think that might help your back a little bit, wake your back up. Okay, so we finish with swimming like a fish. Our last swimming stroke, I like to scoot back in my chair for this one. We call this the flutter kick. So we're going to straighten out our legs in front and straighten out our arms, and we're gonna see how much pretend water we can splash with our feet and our hands, doing the flutter kick. You don't have to worry about getting water in your eyes when it's pretend water. <laughs> but if it were real water, we'd all be getting quite wet. Flutter kick, hands and feet going up and down. Okay, take a break with the flutter kick. Okay, I think that's enough swimming for now. What do you guys think? Usually after we finish the swimming, Richie likes to request that we climb the ladder to get back into the boat. So I, uh, I scooted back to the front edge of my chair so we can climb the ladder. And the way I like to climb the ladder, I reach one hand up to the sky, reach my opposite knee up, and then we'll bring those, that hand and that knee down, and then we'll switch to the other side. One hand go up and the opposite knee, and then pull down. Since today is May 11th, we're going to count the ladder 11 times, okay? So take a deep breath in. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, almost there, nine, ten, last one, eleven. That's not too many times, too big of a ladder to climb in. While we're sitting on the front edge of our chair, and since Andrea was asking, let's wake up our backs, our spines a little bit with the hula hoop. We'll start with our feet wide apart, put our hands on our knees, and we're going to, to start off, we're just going to aim, you can aim your belly button or your heart, whichever works better for you. We're going to aim it to the four sides of the room, and then we'll go in a circle. So let's start first by aiming our chest or belly button forward, to the side, to the back, 
to the forward front, to the side, to the back, to the side. Now we're just going to roll it around. Hula hoop. Front, side, back, side. Front, side, back, side. One more. Front, side, back, side. Okay. I don't know if you can read my shirt, but it says, never walk alone. And it has a dog with a, holding his leash in his mouth. Uh, my sister Kathy gave this to me. So I figured since Gizmo's coming on later, we would uh, celebrate dogs with my shirt too. Okay, now we're gonna do the hula hoop the other direction. Feet wide apart, flat on the floor, hands on our knees. We're gonna start by aiming our chest or belly button forward. To the other side, back, side, to the front, side, back, side. Now we're going to roll it around, just like a slow motion hula hoop. Front, side, back, side, front, side, back. Side, one more, front, side, back, side. Okay, hopefully that wakes up everybody's back and spine a little bit. Okay, how about waking up our fingers? Let's pretend like we're putting a magic spell on everyone all around the world. <laughs> in our house, in our city, in our state, in our country, all over the universe. Make sure everybody has a great day today. Okay, you, you can even pretend like you're playing the piano in the air if you'd rather do that. We just want to get our joints and our muscles moving in our hands. We're going to pause the wiggling and we're going to bring our pointer finger and our thumb together to make a circle, kind of like the OK sign. You can make glasses if you want. I used to be able to do the upside down, that upside down junior bird man. I don't know if that's what that is or not, but something like that. Okay, we got the okay sign. Now we're gonna move our thumb to our middle finger. And while we're doing this, we're just gonna try to take deep breaths and make sure we're gonna focus on relaxing our shoulders while we're doing this today. We're going to move our thumb to our ring finger. Then we'll move our thumb to our pinky finger. Okay. Now we're going to interlace our fingers and do the wave with our elbows, wrists, and fingers going up and down in front of our chest. Now do whatever version of this, even if it's just Kind of a teeter-totter, that's okay too. Uh, if you can do more of a wave, that's excellent. We also like to challenge our brains a little bit by reversing our wave and going back the other way, making our wave go the other way. My brain and body are really comfortable going this way, but there I have to really think and slow down to go back the other way. But it has gotten easier, so if something's hard in the beginning, doing it a few times helps make it a little bit easier. Okay, relax the wave, shake your hands out a little bit. Let's roll our fingers into a fist, point our thumbs to the sky. I bet those of you who've been joining me know what this is going to be. This is our happy days part of the, of the class where we pretend like we're Fonzie from Happy Days. We point our thumbs to the sky. We're going to take a deep breath and on three, we're all going to say a loud, long A, just like Fonzie does. We'll spread A all around the, all around in front of us. Okay, so thumbs pointing to the sky, take a deep breath in. I'm not going to say it really loud, but you say it as loud as you want. Okay, take a deep breath in. One, two, three. A. 
Too bad Rhonda's not here. Rhonda's our loudest Fonzie in the, in the room at Goodwill. So we're going to pause, give our thumbs a little squeeze, open and close our fingers around our thumbs, shake out our wrists and hands a little. Now this is a little, we're going to practice, we're going to do the Fonzie, but we're going to do the A as a whisper. We like to pretend that Fonzie has homework and he's going to go to the library and you know you're supposed to be quiet at the library. So we're going to do a Fonzie at the library. Even though the libraries aren't closed, we're going to pretend. We're going to roll our fingers into a fist, pointing our thumbs to the sky. We're going to take a deep breath in. One. Excellent. Was it harder to do, to do the whisper? I'm used to talking loud, so sometimes the whisper is harder for me. I'm giving my thumb a little squeeze, shaking out my fingers. Those are all nice and wide awake. Okay, let's do, last week I was reminded that I forgot to do the flipping alligator. So let's do that now so we don't forget the flipping alligator. Carl at Goodwill really loves the flipping alligator. He turns it into a partner uh, activity, but we are just going to do it as, as a solo activity. My dad also seems to like the flipping alligator too. So this one's for you, dad. We're going to reach one hand up to the sky and the other hand down towards the floor. When you do this, this automatically mm, makes your heart aim to the sky. So this is nice. I also am sitting at the front edge of my chair with my feet wide apart. We're gonna bring our hands together like a big mouth of an alligator. Once they're together, we're gonna flip our hands over and then we're gonna reverse. We're gonna open up our hands, chomp our hands together and flip. Open, chomp, flip. Open, chomp, flip, open, chomp, flip, open, chomp, flip, open, chomp, flip, two more, open, chomp, flip, open, chomp, and flip. There's the flipping alligator. We didn't forget it two weeks in a row. I really like that one too because it's it works our body as well as when we when we cross over. Uh, it does some extra stuff to our brain that's beneficial too. So I like having those extra brain benefits. All right, let's do let's do the floor and clap. I know Mitch and Harriet will often request this one, so this one's for Mitch and Harriet. I like to start the floor and clap by putting our feet wide apart on the floor. Now if we're, the first part of this is we're going to reach over with one hand to try to touch the floor. If you can't touch the floor, that's okay. Just lean over that way, reach as far as you can. And then when you sit up, we'll clap. Then we're going to lean into the other side to try to touch the floor on the other side. Again, just reach as far as you can. And when you sit up, we'll clap. Okay, here we go. Floor, clap, floor, clap, floor, clap, floor, clap, floor, clap, floor, clap, floor, clap. Give them those back. Floor, clap, floor, clap, and floor, and clap. Okay. Hopefully you feel a little bit of a stretch in your side when you do that one. Since we're kind of warming up our sides a little bit, let's go ahead and do, this one is for Mara from Goodwill likes to request the side bend. So let's go ahead and do that while we're here, stretching our sides. We're going to start with one arm reaching towards the sky. You can keep the other one on your hip or you can put the other one on the armrest of the chair. We're gonna take a deep breath in, and as we blow it out, we're gonna slowly lean over, 
the arm that's on our waist, our hip, or on the armrest of the chair. We're going to take a couple deep breaths while we're sitting up. We're sitting up tall while we're leaning over to the side. Does that make sense? I don't know. You want to make sure you're not scrunching over like this, but you're stretching in your side and your waist, feeling it in your ribs and your waist, taking those deep breaths. One more deep breath in as we sit up tall. And we're going to switch our hand. The one that's reaching towards the sky is either going to come down to your waist or to your hips. And reach the other one up. Reach up to the sky with your other hand. I'm going to put the other one. I'm going to put the other one on the armrest of my chair. Take it. Deep breath in, and as we blow the air out, we're going to slowly lean over the other side. Again, we're not scrunching over real low. We're trying to keep it a nice open stretch so that our armpit and our ribs and our waist are all getting a little bit of a stretch while we're continuing to breathe. I know this one always feels good to me because I don't think I stretch my waist and my sides very often, so I really like this one too. So thanks, Mara, for always asking for this one. Okay, one more deep breath in. As we sit up tall, bring that arm down to our lap. Let's do a little bit with our shoulders. We're going to do some popcorn shoulders. I like to put my hands on my knees while my shoulders just kind of go up and flop down. Up. You can go both shoulders at the same time. You can do one shoulder, then the other shoulder. We like, even like with our popcorn shoulders, we like to make circles with our shoulders. I'm making backwards circles to start. While I'm doing that, my hands are kind of sliding from my knee to my thigh and back to my knee while my shoulders are circling. And then we can also do forward shoulder circles. Go in the opposite direction. I don't know about you guys, but I have some snap, crackle, and pop Grace Krispies in my shoulders and my neck. Okay, we'll stop the shoulder circles and let's do a little bobble head. And like you're one of those bobblehead dolls, just gently moving your head forward, backward, and side to side. Whatever doesn't make you dizzy. <laughs> okay. While we're here with our loosening up our shoulders and neck, let's go ahead and say good morning to our belly button. Good morning, belly button. We're just gently, we're sitting up, still sitting up tall, but we're looking down towards our belly button. That gives a nice stretch to the back of our neck. Then we'll look up, look forward, and we'll do the same thing a couple more times, nice and slowly. Say, good morning, belly button, and look forward. Good morning, belly button. That usually makes people laugh when we do that. I feel silly doing it. I don't know if you do. Okay, when we do this, saying good morning to the belly button and looking forward, it looks like we're nodding our head, yes. Now, we're going to look forward and take our chin over one shoulder and then slowly back to the middle over the other shoulder. This is a slow motion, shaking our head, no. Slow motion. You want to be nice and gentle with your neck. Shaking our head. No. Slow motion. Okay. Now we're going to look forward again. We're going to raise our shoulders and bring up our hands. When we don't know the answer to something, we say, I don't know. And then relax. Shoulders up. Hands up. I don't know. Shoulders up, hands up. I don't know. Okay, those are, so I'm gonna ask you a couple questions 
And you answer by either nodding, slowly nodding your head, yes. Slowly shaking your head, no. Or raising your shoulders and hands for, I don't know. Okay, here's the first question. Is today Monday? Yes. At least the day that we're filming this, it's Monday. Maybe the time you're watching it, it might not be, but today it's Monday, so we're shaking our head, yes. Okay. Is tomorrow Saturday? No. Some people might prefer that, but tomorrow is not Saturday, so we're shaking our head, no. Is tomorrow Tuesday? Yes. Shaking our head? Yes. Okay. Is it going to rain tomorrow? I don't know. That depends on where you are. I don't know. Weather is always a good question to ask for the answer for I don't know. Because you never know what the weather is going to be. Um... Did the holiday, was the holiday that we celebrated yesterday Mother's Day? Yes. Hopefully all the mothers had a wonderful Mother's Day. And hopefully everyone else had a wonderful Mother's Day celebrating with their mother, whether it was a phone call or a text or wishing well. Hopefully that was good. Okay, I don't know about you, my neck feels nice and loose. I'm wondering if there are any other uh, suggestions from Facebook or people on the call, Shakira. I'm going to keep on... Not it. Okay. Oh, okay. Lots of hellos. So I'll, I'll check the Facebook uh, comments later and respond to those later. Thank you for being here. How about we do a little bit with our legs, okay? This time we're going to scoot back in our chair and make yourself a little bit more comfortable. That'll make it easier for us to use our legs. Let's start, let's do kind of like we, I think we did last week. We're going to start with riding our bicycle with our arms and our legs, then each stop we make on our bike, we're going to do a different leg exercise, okay? So let's start by pedaling. We have a cool bicycle that we can pedal with our hands and our feet. So we're going to pedal with our hands and our feet. Here we go. Pedal, pedal, pump, pump, pedal, pedal, pump. Pump, pedal, pedal, pump, pump, one more, pedal, pedal, pump, pump, put on the brakes. Hopefully they're not squeaky brakes today. Okay, the first stop with our legs is we are going to stretch out our legs in front, straight. We're going to stretch out our arms. We're going to if you want to do both your arms and legs, we're going to pretend like our arms and legs are a pair of scissors. And they're going to open by spreading your hands and feet apart. And our scissors are going to cut. They're going to close by bringing our hands and feet together. So scissors open and close. Open and close. Open and close. Open and close. Open. And close. open. Close, one more, open and close. Okay, time to pedal our bike to the next stop. Pedal, pedal with our hands and pedal with our feet. Here we go. Pedal, pedal, pump, pump. Pedal, pedal, pump, pump. Pedal, pedal, pump. Pump, one more, pedal, pedal, pump, pump, put on the brakes. Brakes are getting a little squeaky. Okay, this time we're going to pretend 
like our toes and our hands, our arms, our windshield wipers. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to start by straightening out our legs. And we're going to um, bring our arms in front of us, but we're going to bend at our elbows so that our forearms and hands are windshield wipers and our toes are windshield wipers. So your legs hold still, but your toes go back and forth. Swish, 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 swish. Switch. You can even be, be fancy, expensive windshield wipers. Well, I don't know if they're more expensive. I just don't see them very often where they go out and in windshield wipers. School bus windshield wipers. <laughs> out and in, out and in. Or back to the same kind, the sets go in the same direction. Swish, 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 swish. All right, take a break. The rain has stopped, so we're going to go back, get on our bicycles, and go to our next stop. We're going to pedal with our hands and pedal with our feet. Take a deep breath in. Here we go. Pedal, pedal, pump, pump, pedal, pedal, pump, pump, pedal, pedal, pump, pump. One more. Pedal, pump, pump. It's not on the screen. So uh, the last, well, we've got two more stops. We're going to have our toes go up and our toes go down. So we're going to use both our arms and legs up in front. And then we're going to point our fingers and our toes to the sky and point our fingers and toes to the ground. So our arms and legs are staying straight while our wrists and our ankles are bending. Toes up, toes down, toes up, toes down, toes up, and fingers up. Fingers and toes down, fingers and toes up, fingers and toes down. Two more, toes up, toes down, toes up, toes down. Okay, one more bike ride, take a deep breath in. We're going to pedal with our hands and our feet. Here we go. Pedal, pedal, pump, pump, pedal, pedal, pump, pump, pedal, pedal, pump, pump. One more. Pedal, pedal, pump, pump. Put on the brakes. Okay, this is our last stop. And I like, uh, you guys know how much I enjoy hugs. So we're going to give our leg a little bit of a hug. We're going to take our hands underneath our thigh. And however you want to, however high up, you can lift your knee up. We're going to give our knee a hug. You can blow it a kiss. Or you can actually give it a kiss if you can reach that far. We're just going to sit back in the in our chair and bring your knee up as high as you feel comfortable giving your leg a hug. Take a nice deep breath while you're bringing that knee up. You can slowly let that leg go down to the floor and your other leg is going to come up. We're going to put our hands underneath our other thigh and slowly lift that leg, knee towards your chest. You can lean over and give it a kiss, or you can just blow it a kiss from where you are. Taking some nice deep breaths while we're here. <sighs> while we're giving a little bit of a stretch and a hug to our other leg. Okay, that's good. All right, I know we had a request a couple weeks ago from my friend Mitch, who was listening to us at home for the rocket ship. So let's do the rocket ship. Now this one, when we do it at, at Goodwill, we like to do it using our, the armrests of our chair for our hands. We scoot to the front edge of our seat. We put our feet wide apart on the floor. 
and then we put our hands on the armrest of the chair. That way, we use our arms and our legs to push ourselves up off the chair. If you don't have armrest of the, on your chair, you can still do the rocket ship. It's just more of a standing up and sitting down. And you want to make sure the seat is behind you when you sit, okay? So you don't fall on the floor. We're going to, and the reason we call it a rocket ship is because we're going to count backwards from 10. We're going to count down together. So get your hands or your feet ready, however you want to do it, your version. We're going to take a deep breath in. And here we go. 10 down, 9 down, 8 down, 7 down, 6 down, 5 down, 4 down, 3, almost there. Two, down, one, down, and blast off. <laughs> that made Gizmo run out of the room. I'm going to move this over here in case Gizmo wants to sit, sit by us on the soft mat. Okay, that was the rocket ship for Mitch. I don't know if you're joining us today, Mitch, or not, but hopefully you're doing well. We miss you. Okay, another one that we have not done before, uh, but I thought we would give a try today, something new that we haven't done, is we pretend like we're going to pick apples. I don't know about you, but I love apples. All different ways. Uh, and the way we like to pick the apples is we like to reach across to pick the apple off the tree and then we bring it back down and put it on the barrel on the ground. We reach across and put it in the basket. Pick the apple and put it in the basket. You can decide what color apple you want to pick, put it in the basket. You can pick a red apple and put it in the basket. You can pick a yellow apple and put it in the basket. You can pick a green one. Hopefully it's a ripe green one like a Granny Smith and put it in the basket. Pick the apple and put it in the basket. Okay, now we're gonna switch. Since we were doing all of that with one arm going in one direction, let's mix it up a little bit and challenge our brains and bodies. Now I'm gonna use I'm, I'm normally right-handed, so I was doing everything first with my right hand. Now I'm going to try it with my left hand so I can challenge my brain and my muscles to, to do things that I don't normally do with the hand that I, the side of my body that I don't normally do it with. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to reach across to pick the apple, and then I'm going to bring it down and put it in the basket. Reach across to pick the apple, put it in the basket. Reach across to pick the apple and put it in the basket. I think now I'm going to get a red one. Does anyone have a favorite kind of apple that they enjoy? Gala or Rayburn or Honeycrisp? Red Delicious, Golden Oh, there's a Golden Delicious. Haven't had one of those in a long time. Pick the apple and put it in the basket. Wonderful. I know it's not really apple season, apple picking season, but I thought that that might be a fun one for us to try today. Okay. Oh, how about, we haven't done this for a few weeks. How about we blow out the birthday candles for everyone who has a birthday in May. Now that we're in May, we're going to blow out the candles for all the May birthdays. All right. So let's start this part. Uh, we're going to start by warming up our hands. We're going to put our palms together and we're going to rub our hands together as fast as we can because that friction of our hands rubbing on each other makes them warmer. So this is a nice way to warm up our hands. Once we get our hands nice and warm, let's put one hand on our heart and put the other hand right on top. 
just notice, we're just going to sit here for a second and feel the warmth from our hand. I can feel it through my t-shirt and I can also feel the warmth of the other hand on the back of my first hand. So I'm just going to feel the warmth of my hand. Okay, now we're going to keep our hands on our heart. We're going to take a deep breath and while we blow out slowly all the birthday candles for May, we're just going to slowly lean forward and blow out those candles because there's a lot, a lot of people have birthdays in May, so there's a lot of candles. So take a deep breath in, one, two, three. Since there are so many birthdays in May, I don't think we quite blew out all those candles. So let's do it again. We're going to put our palms together and rub our hands together as fast as we can. My sister Lynn is really good at this too. Although my mom isn't really crazy about it. But Lynn, you can do it now. Mom won't be upset when you do it now. Okay. Rub those palms together. Warm those hands up. This time, I'm going to put my warm hands on my belly. Just like we did before, let's just notice, see if you can feel the warmth of your hand going through your shirt. I feel it a little bit. Okay, we're gonna keep our palms on our belly. We're gonna take a deep breath in, and on three, we're gonna blow out the rest of the May birthday candles. Okay, take a deep breath in. One, two, three. Okay, I think we got all the May birthdays. So everyone who had the birthday in May, we blew out all the candles. So hopefully you all have a wonderful birthday in May. All right. Uh, let's do um, a little bit of, we're going to do a tricep stretch. We're going to reach our hand up to the sky. We're going to bend our Bend our arm and our elbow so our hand comes down to pat ourselves on the back. So it, hopefully your elbow is pointing up towards the sky or even if it's pointing to the side, that's okay. But you're trying to reach to give yourself a pat on the back. And hopefully you can feel that stretch in the tricep, the back of your arm. But if you need a little bit more of a stretch, you can bring your other hand up to your elbow and gently squeeze that elbow in towards your ear. You can even bring it back a little bit towards your back, wherever you need a little bit more stretch for your tricep. I wanted us to stretch our triceps a little bit so we can give ourselves a hug and a pat on the back too. So. Right now, we're just taking a couple deep breaths while we're holding that stretch on our tricep. One more deep breath in and unwind your arms, shake them out a little bit. We're gonna do that same stretch with our other arm. First, we're gonna start by reaching towards the sky, sitting up tall, bending our elbow so our palm goes towards our back to give ourselves a pat on the back. And if you want to bring your other hand up to give yourself a little bit more stretch, you can gently hold your other elbow, squeeze your elbow towards your ear or towards your back to give yourself a little bit more of a tricep stretch. And take another deep breath while we're sitting here, sitting up tall. Going to unwind our arms arms and float those arms. I'm just kind of uh, pretending like my arms are made of jello and loosening them up a little bit so I can give myself a big hug and a pat on the back. We aren't going to do the whole crisscross applesauce series, but we're going to do the first couple moves where we crisscross, give ourselves a hug and a pat on the back. You can rock yourself from side to side if you want. Give yourself a pat on the back. We're going to open up our arms. And the applesauce version, we're going to switch which arm is on top and give ourselves 
Another hug with our arms switched. Let's, let's switch them out two more times. We're going to open up, crisscross, give yourself a hug and a pat on the back. Applesauce, open up, switch which arms on top, give yourself a big pat on the back. Okay, relax that. How about we do the lion and then we have Gizmo come and teach us, teach us, show us some of his tricks, okay? We'll end with the lion as a nice way to get our voices even more warmed up, okay? We're going to start. Hopefully Ben is still here, because I know Ben is really good at the lion. We're going to put our big scary claws up next to our face. We're going to open our eyes as wide as we can. We're going to open our mouth as wide as we can. We're going to stick out our tongues as far as we can. We're going to take a deep breath in. One, two, three, roar. I try not to do it too loud so I don't hurt your ears. Let's give our jaw muscles a little massage. Sometimes when I open my mouth big like that, my jaw gets a little sore, so a little massage helps. Okay. Uh-oh. Trouble cleaning this video. Oh, hopefully, I'm going to keep going. Um, Kyra, did the video cut out for you? We'll do one more lion, just in case the video is still going. We're going to open up our claws, open up our eyes, open our mouth as wide as we can, stick out our tongue as far as we can, take a deep breath in, one, two, three, lion. My screen is showing that you can't see me. Kyra, can you still see me on the video? What's that? Oh, good. Okay. Then even though I can't see that, it looks like you can't see me. Gizmo is here just in time. You ready to show him some tricks? Okay. All right. I'm going to move this we're going to stop our movement and we'll give Gizmo a chance to show off a little bit. Okay? Let me get some things set up. Gizmo, are you ready to play school? Sometimes when we're doing stuff like this, I have him, I call it school. Gizmo, come. Come here. Gizmo, sit. Oh, I'm going to try to bring him around to the other side so you can see him a little bit better. So this right here is a puzzle that Gizmo likes to play with. Good boy. Good boy. You want it? Oh, he doesn't want that one. Okay. All right. Find it. Hopefully you can see what he's doing. I have little treats, little treats inside the puzzle, and he has to remove the block. You can tell he's done this before to get the treats out. And then after he gets those out, he has to he swivels the puzzle around to get the last few pieces. He did it so fast. He's already done. Good job, buddy. He likes to look and make sure he didn't leave anything behind. Okay. Oh, now you want that. Okay, you ready to do a couple more? Okay. I also thought it might be fun to show you a little bit of him playing catch. Okay. Gizmo. by the ball. Roll over. Good boy. Good boy. Catch. Okay, come here. Go, go. Yes, I think he thinks when he gets the ball, he gets the lead. Do you want to play some more? You want another snack, buddy? Okay. Good 
Good boy. Bang, play dead. Good boy. Good boy. You saw him do a little rollover first. Okay. Around. Good boy. Reverse. Woo, good job. Okay, stay. Good boy, stay. Pause up. Yes. Off. I know you've seen some of these already, but he's, I just think he's so cute when he does it. Under. Pause up. Good boy. Off. Over. Oh, over. There you go. Good job. Um, there was one more. Here, Gizmo. Sit. Sit. Stay. Back it up. Good boy. Back it up. Good boy. Okay. One more. I think that's probably enough for today. Good job, buddy. Uh-oh. Oh, too much food, food and ball. He'll be okay. All right. So thanks, everybody, for joining us today. Um, we are set to do it again next Monday. So um, I don't know how long I'll be able to include Gizmo in the fun, but if you guys request it, maybe I can make special arrangements to keep doing it with Gizmo on Mondays. Um, but otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all next week. Thanks for joining me. And have a wonderful week. Bye, everybody.